Man, my little ticker says record. Brendan, what were you saying before that? I was saying this, man. I'm fully serious. Uh, I commented on your Instagram post. First of all, your cats are looking great. Yeah, those huh? Your, Tip top, those man. Are, those are almost your ready, cats. Almost, almost ready to sell, bro. <laughs> those, <laughs> almost ready to those, skin. Those are... <laughs> Harumi, what the shit, man? Hey, I, used man. To do, I used to do a joke uh, about that where I would say, uh, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, but even if you only know one, gross. That was the <laughs> yeah. uh, but listen, man, I was serious in my comment. They're your responsibility now. You got to get sure, man. spayed or neutered. Totally. No, we're on it, man. Once the pandemic is over, that's a um, – we looked into some places that will come to the apartment. Yeah, they'll come right they'll, to you, man. They'll come to That's us, crazy. man. Yeah, it's a. That's crazy. I didn't... Sorry, I thought the wave. No, no, no. It was cresting. It's, uh, it's <laughs> probably did, man. What were you gonna say? The it's just crazy that the cats are. Oh, thanks, Tita. Oh, that's hot as hell. Ooh uh, Did the cats were like, oh, thanks for the free food. I wonder what the cost is. <laughs> you know and then, oh you get you're gonna freaking neuter you that's such a they're not even that's crazy i mean i get yeah. why you gotta do it but yeah, yeah. it is I, it is a bit crazy in fact i, I yeah. said it uh i don't even really know why you have to i'm just going off bob barker. same same <laughs> um, oh i didn't get that comment oh so bob barker is a big um neuter enthusiast and <laughs> At the end of every single episode of Price is Right, Bob Barker would say, and make sure you get your pet spayed or neutered. He did. That's, oh, how, right. the show, that's how the show closed. Oh, my that's God. how much he cared about it. That was his quote. Wow. Yeah, I don't really know either. People have told me it's kind of like when I've been explained Bitcoin, and I'm in the moment, I'm like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then the minute it's over, I'm like, I don't really get it. Um, it's the same thing I feel about spaying and neutering. Fairly I don't simple. Really get it. They cut out their side so they can't have babies. That's no, that's no, no. I get. <laughs> I get that's the, not a foreign concept. I get the search. I get the procedure. I don't get the reason. Oh, well, they don't want I, to have I, more and more babies. They don't want to have. I, they don't want to be overrun because if you don't, they'll overrun the world. Uh, it's, like the fuck. it's like the one child policy in China. Yeah, Harumi knows he's Chinese. They just want less cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think uh, honestly, what it is is it's for their own benefit because I do think feral cats, you know, stray cats, yeah. if they reproduce, they essentially die. Like there's they there's not enough food for them, so uh, uh, yeah. they just it's a it's a matter of like. Because they know there's going to be a certain amount that don't get spayed and neutered. So they're like, well, if you have the opportunity, spay and neuter them. Because the, otherwise, it's just going to, it's just going to, the, their population would explode, yeah. you know? Maybe I'll do it during the pandemic. I'll watch a video or something. No. YouTube so, tutorial? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just dust yeah. off it some must... steak knives. And yeah. Don't perform cat surgeries, man. Especially on their penis or vagina. <laughs> You have a bunch of cats, so you only got to, you know, the first couple are a mulligan, and then, you know, yeah, man, yeah. it's going to be cats. You, and you're going to try to work anesthesia. Like, are you going to do that? You're going to try to work that? <laughs> Sprinkle some on. You're so about, where, you're going you're gonna to catch them? Like, I don't even know. You grab them, and then you're going to just cut open their guts. Um, <laughs> no. For I'm what? Sure. Just so they don't have more I'm babies. Sure the... <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not I'm worth sure it. You're... That YouTube tells you how to trap the cat, and then they tell you how to properly anesthetize the cat. Think about what the Unabomber was able to pull off from that shack. And he didn't even have Wi-Fi, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. going uh, to argue. Harvard educated scientists. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a genius. <laughs> and all he was doing was making a pipe bomb, not fucking cat surgery. You, I'm, I'm right. also going to argue, Anthony. Yeah. I'm going to argue that yeah. there's a lot. There's a lot of YouTube has everything. It is a lot on there, sure, sure but I would does. guarantee there is not a step-by-step walkthrough on how to neuter a cat. <laughs> <laughs> they put surgeries on there, man. Well, the, 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 the way know, Greg, man. the way Greg, I knew that Anthony's cats were not spayed or neutered is because it's it's kind of a universally accepted practice uh, among vets and and ASPCA people when a cat gets spayed or neutered they take a tiny little clip off their ear 
That yeah. way, if if they become if they become wild again, they know okay that one's been spayed or neutered. Do you think there's any just like really smart cats? Figure it out. Like, these motherfuckers ain't getting my dick. I clip <laughs> yeah, my yeah, own yeah. ear. I clip my own ear. Fuck you. They got them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The little, yeah. little one's like, well, mommy, why are we doing this? He's like, I'm for your own good, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. I guess when you get circumcised. Could you imagine if I came home and you guys were like, how was your night? And I was like, ah, man, I was having a good time. And then some guy grabbed me, put me in a van, uh, came back. I don't have a penis anymore. And he said it was for my own good. That's what's, yeah. And then he petted <laughs> me, and I, gave and me food. And I, and I would say, that's what you get for going to Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you it's would, really a harsh they, thing. They would cut mm. off your nuts, I think, uh, is what they would do. Which is even uh, weirder. Yeah. Which is even weirder. Do you know? They, uh, yeah. They, oh, they just leave the, they leave the, the thingy. The airplane. Um, the penis. I forget yeah, the, the airplane. <laughs> airplane. I forget, yeah. I forget That's what Mama guy, calls it. <laughs> I forget the guy's name. Uh, I mean, this is one of the all-time just rudest things in the history of history. I for, I totally forget the name. Oh, Turing. Alan, Alan Turing. Oh, Alan sure. Turing, yeah. The Turing, the Turing test. test. He, he cracked the... Sam Harris, boys. He, he, he cracked Inception. the... He cracked <laughs> the... Enigma machine. Essentially, right. people people think that it probably shortened World War II by at least two years. So yeah. saving millions of lives. Also, he pretty much invented computers. Uh, and then uh, because he was gay, uh, the British authorities in the 50s uh, arrested him and gave him the choice. We can put you in jail for being gay or we can chemically castrate you. Uh, and he it was chemically castrated, essentially taking these pills that, that killed his, his balls, and, uh, and he killed himself. So that's how he was rewarded for inventing computers and uh, winning World War II. Uh, is this the movie? Was this the movie about that? Yes, Imitation yeah. Game is a great was movie. Was that Doctor where- Strange, isn't it? Yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch plays him, mm. but it's fascinating. It's I'm going to catch it now. And it was so, and it it was rough because because they because the Germans uh, still had the Enigma machine, so that his his work was still all top high level classified. So here he is, like facing trial for being gay, and he can't be like, "Yo, I won World War II." It was still <laughs> right. there was still only like twelve people who knew about it. Uh, right. So. It was fucking crazy, but I think that's a great lead in to this little little quick little snippet of information for those of you uh, that do not follow us on social media and may not be aware of this and are just getting the uh, free episodes. Here's what's going on. Uh, Greg, Anthony, Dan, and I, uh, we all do. We make a little money from the podcast. Uh, we, we, we make some money from our albums, uh, but the truth is we make the majority of I don't of make our- shit. <laughs> we make the majority uh, of our income uh, on the road, doing live stand-up yeah. comedy on the road. And, and, and the truth is that's dead right now, and we don't know for how long that's going to last. So we need to make a little extra income. Now, we are not going to sit here and ask you for donations. That's not us. No, 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 no. no, no. We are, if, we, if we want something... We give you something. So here's what's happening for those of you that have not uh, caught up yet. Um, obviously, we still do the $5 uh, extra episode a week on Patreon. But if you go to patreon.com slash raddudecast, we are now offering three bonus episodes a week. So one for free and then three extra episodes. So you get one at the $5 level. If you pledge $10, you get a one ep- the ten dollar episode and the five dollar episode. If you pledge fifteen dollars a month, you get the fifteen dollar episode, the ten dollar episode, and the five dollar episode. That's four episodes of the Rad Dude Cast for a week. Two quick little caveats to that, and then we'll get right into the fucking all cast. day. Uh, one, you listen to that podcast all day. One is that uh, we absolutely know that everyone is struggling right now. We do not want anyone 
who can't afford this to try to do it. Okay. We don't want to take money that you need and put it in our pocket. This is just for people that, you know, maybe have, have a salary job, have a, have rich parents, have, Work from home. you know, are a prostitute, whatever, whatever you're doing. Prostitute, you, no prostitute isn't working now, man. You can't touch each other. Maybe the home ones are, they have a bubble, Dog. but, uh, yeah, but yeah. so, so, so if you can't afford it, don't do it with that. We don't want you sacrificing on, on our, on our behalf. Don't sell uh, off your furry costumes. And then the, se- and, then the s- <laughs> <laughs> and then the second little minor issue, there's only been a couple people that have dealt with this is Patreon is a little bit wonky. Um, if you up your donation um, without signing up for the tiers, there's a chance you won't have access uh, to those higher level um, episodes. So make sure when you do it, you sign up for the tiers. And if you run into that problem where you've upped your donation but are not getting uh, the episodes, shoot an email to Patreon's customer support. They should sort you out, no problem. Uh, if that doesn't work, message us. We'll take care of you. But anyway. Yeah, you just the- subscribe and unsubscribe again. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Right. And the, the, long, the long and short of it is there's now four rad dude cast episodes a week one is free this one and then you've got a five dollar tier a ten dollar tier and a fifteen dollar tier and uh someone was commenting today i just want to make it clear it's not like you pay individually for those episodes if you whatever level you sign up at you get everything below that as well so it's not like you got to sign up for 10 and then sign up for 15 if you sign up for 15 you're getting the 10 too it's a 35 dollar commitment $40 Forty dollar no, commitment. <laughs> if they thought right. that, you know I'm saying <laughs> if they think that, that'd be crazy. It's only a fifteen dollar commitment. Yeah, no, exactly. Somebody, <laughs> I agree with you. I'm agreeing yeah. with you. I'm saying it's that so, idiot who emailed you uh, thought he had to pay fifty dollars a month. No, no, no. He, he's not an idiot. He's someone that posted in the Rad Duke cast. I wasn't sure what he meant, but he he he, he said it was something like a thirty five dollar commitment. No, no that's crazy. No, I think he just misunderstood, or I misunderstood him. Absolutely not an idiot. But <laughs> Probably not an idiot, but I'm calling uh, you out, idiot. <laughs> but I may have <laughs> misunderstood him. But that's what's going on. So uh, get in there, patreon.com uh, slash raddudecast. Uh, throw us a few extra bones. We could use it. Anthony's a dog. <laughs> Check out my decoder ring. I got a decoder ring. What's that decode? I don't know. It's got codes on it. I don't know how to decode it or use it. So I got to Google it. This wasn't all that. I, I wasn't expecting to talk about this for a while. We can move on. <laughs> well, interesting. <laughs> interesting that you brought it up, my friend. Yeah, you really are something special. Where uh, Hey, check out this decoder ring. But I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, mean, I don't really want to spend a lot of time on it. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you guys wanted to talk about it, you could. But I didn't want to. <laughs> I don't know any more information. I don't know how it decodes anything. <laughs> you are an odd duck, man. Buddy, I'm a... Um, I had took the I took a really strong edible last night. Oh man! Yeah, okay. And I watched so much GI Joe, and now I am living feel. I just I'll wake, not high, but feeling. The, yeah, feel, the, yeah, totally. You know understand. what I mean? I'm on the yeah. I'm on the beach. I'm on the beach. You get Greg's, those a- aftershocks. Aftershocks, man. Yeah. What's up, Greg? Uh, Brendan. Greg's Instagram story last night was the best. It was just him wildly confused by G.I. Joe. Just going, <laughs> they just invaded France with tanks. Who does that? They have no respect for the Geneva Convention. It's crazy, man. I told you, Anthony, they got a boss who dresses like a snake I and mean, they trust him. It's as if all the work of Madeleine Albright has been undone. One battle. <laughs> well, yeah, no, great. We were, we were talking a little bit about it last day. He did bring up some great points about that Cobra is dressed as uh, basically a human snake. And, you know, it's a little, it's a little on the nose for a bad guy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, if Bezos came out dressed like a big ferret, you'd be like, what? And he'd be like, I run ferret now. You'd be like, I'm not buying your shit, dude. I don't care. Yeah. You're just like a ferret. And you're yeah, flying you around on a hover bike. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Wait a second. This analogy has got me lost. Uh, yeah, wouldn't, yeah. Wouldn't Benzos, 
<laughs> be dressed as some sort of Amazon, like a tree, maybe, or something, or, or something more, something cat. more sinister than a ferret. Ferrets yeah, no, are very but, sinister. No, I get that, but but cobra is just <laughs> a cobra because it's because it's the name. Yeah, it's but Emma, name. if Jeff Bezos like character oh, came uh, out in a big furry ferret costume and was like. Kneel to me, or you won't get your packages. You'd be like, "Yeah, man, keep the package, dude. You're up to some shit. Yeah, You're man, up to some shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey. Yeah. Then Greg said something else too that I thought was funny. What, what were you saying about like, oh, maybe this is why a generation of men are the way they are? Oh, let me show you this clip. Look at this yeah. clip, man. It's gonna be hard to hear, but listen to this clip from GI Joe I recorded last night. It's crazy. Uh, are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah man. Take your time. Yeah, Haroon, give us give us a little. Alright, oh, listen to this, cool, listen. Man. Wait, that wasn't it. Also in autumn. <laughs> this was it. Yeah, lifeline. It's called a gun. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you gotta, Wait, isn't there a way to say, yeah, huh? say that? Uh, say that for us because I couldn't hear it so, super clearly. Isn't there another way to settle disputes? And then the guy Lowlight, who's just you know a good guy, goes, "Yeah, it's called my gun," and he just pulls him <laughs> out like a machine gun. Like, yo, I was seven when I watched this. That's so funny. What if before they said a gun, they said other horrible things until they got to gun? You know what I mean? There's got to be another way. And he's like, what do you mean, boss? Like hitting a woman <laughs> or like shoving a minority? <laughs> yeah. They're like, well, I can't seem to learn it. Well, that's okay. Shoot up to school. <laughs> well, do, uh, the, the, uh, the other crazy thing is like, do you remember? Because I didn't watch a ton of G.I. Joe's. My parents wouldn't let me. But the ones I watched, they would have those um, – PSAs. PSAs. Yeah, yeah. You do the PSAs where it's like, you got to read, kids. And it's like, bro, you just said the only way to settle a dispute is with a gun. And now yeah. I'm supposed to trust you on reading practices? Well, well, they're, yeah, they're like, you got to know how to count. Like, for example, did you shoot four people or seven <laughs> people? Yeah. Also, they're always walking around looking at kids, not in a creepy way, but I think it's sort of like you got five days on the military force, one day on base, and then one day you got to walk around looking for kids, <laughs> see if someone's put too much suntan lotion on. you got to tell them, hey, <laughs> that's too much suntan lotion. Cool it down. No one's <laughs> after battle. All right, I'm going home. You know, like, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, they're all out there. Barbecue, in full that's, barbecue gear, looking yeah. at windows. That's so Very funny. Weird. And then the kid comes home and he's like, I learned about sunscreen today. He's like, who told you? I was someone who seemed like they were in some sort of private army. <laughs> yeah, some, some militia. <laughs> some militia. Does the G.I. Joe, do they ever um, work in conjunction with the actual U.S. Army? Are they actually, are they even in America? Yeah, they, they are, are the U.S. Right? Army. They are the U.S. Army. They're they all, are they're the, they're the highest Army. level. They're like SEAL Team 6. So they get the best of everyone. And the G.I. Joe is the highest elite force of soldiers. So they would take the best Marines, the best whatever, the best football players. You know, right. <laughs> Captain Gridiron had a football helmet. They let him wear his own shit. And, and a football point, helmet to work. Huh? Right. At one point, they, they had just had Refrigerator Perry. Refrigerator Perry. Army. Yep. Yeah. Then it was Big it's, Lob, who was just a guy who showed up in basketball shorts and uh, <laughs> had a, a jersey and throw basketball grenades. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's interesting, though, because in some ways there is some – level of reality to that like delta force who the government denies the existence of but it's pretty widely accepted it exists which is the <laughs> very highest level of our special forces and and like and like seal team six they do get to kind of do their own thing like like relative to the rest of the military i mean they're obviously not wearing uh, uh football jerseys but they get to wear like long hair and beards and what ride mm. horses in, in yeah. afghanistan and shit and like delta force apparently wears all black and doesn't have any u.s insignia on their shit because if they get caught it's basically like we're gonna deny you ever even worked for us uh which Agreed. is cool, kind of a cool deal but it's a slight difference than hiring uh, Sergeant Slaughter, the professional wrestler, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the head of yeah, your training we, service. We, we liked your work with The Undertaker. We think you'd be 
good uh, kill Osama bin Laden. <laughs> well, this is the thing that I didn't get about G.I. Joe. Sergeant Slaughter was a G.I. Joe, right? And he was also a wrestler. So yeah. was I to believe that when he was fighting Hulk Hogan for the belt, totally, man. he was mm. also on the weekend fighting Serpentor? Like, he would just jump yes. through the air, take out helicopters, and then also, well, you know, I'm also going to go to WrestleMania. Talk about a man conflicted. I mean, you could write a whole stage play about the psyche of Sergeant Slaughter <laughs> yeah. from Monday to Saturday. I mm-hmm. mean, man, what a tormented soul. Because yeah. if he lost to Hogan, what could Hogan have been doing in the G.I. Joe Army? That guy yeah. should have been in G.I. Joe. Yeah. Sure. Can I say yeah. this too about Sergeant Slaughter? The man yeah. wore all camouflage. So, like, you know, that's got to wear on you too, just constantly trying to blend in. But, you you, you know, it's, oh, man, what a what a... Tough, tough days ahead. Yeah, he slaughter was slaughter was wild, man. Slaughter was wild. Then he went to Iraq. Remember, he went heel. Yeah. Did he go to Cobra as well, or True. was he just Team Iraq and not Team Cobra? Yeah, he teamed up with the Iron Sheik. I believe I, was the Iron Sheik Iranian. Is that was because they yes, never explicitly so, yeah. said Iraq. Yes. They would yes. say Iran. Yeah. Oh, he, he was, was Iranian. Iranian. Okay. Yeah. So they, there was a little work around with that, but you knew that he was clearly not on the side of America. Yeah, yeah. Slaughter that, that turncoat, man. Jesus. I would say the closest, and 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 everyone can take a shot at this if they want. But if I had to, if I had to pick the closest real life GI Joe, we have was probably Pat Tillman. Uh, remember him? Yeah. Uh, 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 excellent. Uh, what what did he play? Safety linebacker. Yeah, he was some kind of – he was either safety or a cornerback uh, for the Cardinals, correct? Yeah, yeah. He may have been a linebacker. He may have been a safety and just quit the NFL to join the Army Rangers and got killed in, in by friendly fire in Afghanistan, oh. I believe. Yeah. Um, Jeez. But so that's the closest real-life G.I. Joe we got, Pat Tillman. Anyone else want to top that? It's got to be uh, Bo Jackson, huh? Yeah, I say Bo Jackson. <laughs> Bo did yep. it all. <laughs> Bo did it, man. What? Bo did Army. He did A Navy. He did running and he did sitting. I don't know. If yeah. Well, also, Michael Jordan was pre- Michael Jordan. Um, he saved the city of Chicago from a series of ghosts using nothing but flame and ice basketballs um, <laughs> in a little city. incident called Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. <laughs> yeah. He also <laughs> teamed up with Bo Jackson and Wayne Gretzky and flew a tri- oh, yeah. <laughs> tri-level helicopter right. and oh, went on adventures God. every Saturday. Man. In, uh, it was called, like, the All-Stars or some shit. Yes, sir, yet, it was. Yet he couldn't... <laughs> Yet he couldn't save his own father from being <laughs> murdered because of his Jesus. because of his because of his gambling debts. They did That's big. That's not confirmed inter- tonight. They did big international <laughs> espionage. They didn't do local crimes, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like people are like, oh no, that didn't have anything to do with his gambling debts or anything. It's like, oh, so they just murdered an old man on the side of the road and stole nothing. It One happens. Of those type of serial kill. He could have been not raped. often. It could have been a rape. They don't. I, I don't think it was. It could have been. Hey, could let's have been not, a Lakers fan. I don't know. Yeah. Could, have, could have been a Lakers fan. <laughs> um, I wonder if they're going to cover that in the documentary. What documentary? The it's like Jordan an documentary, art documentary coming, coming out. out. Yeah. Wait. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It's like, I don't it's, believe it. So I think it's coming out in like June or July. Why would they really? cover Michael Jordan? I don't know. People were into him for a while. It's this just going to be a, watch an, it. It's just going to be an hour and a half of, of uh, one shots of interviewing people like that guy was the best at basketball. Real piece of shit, though. Mm. Just an hour and a half of everyone <laughs> saying that. Yeah. Wait, they killed Cosby's kid, too, right? Same, did they, was he Yeah, gambling? but that was – no, that was uh, – that was – they caught those guys. Uh, that, I think – I don't know what that was about. Uh, in hindsight, maybe it was related to some of Cosby's actions. How do we know? Yeah, How do we find out? Uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> hit the streets, do a little legwork, look for clues. Yeah, it's gotta solve them. Oh, Purumi, how we do it? Did you take the timer? Uh, I timer. started a little bit late, but yeah, I'm trying to, to do a little math. I would like to know where we're at. Where we're at? Uh, about uh, halfway through. Now you know what's interesting, nice. and I know Greg doesn't like sports talk, but it is interesting. Bo Jackson gets a lot of credit for being for being the baseball football guy, right? Sure. But no but nobody ever everyone always forgets about Deion Sanders' baseball career. Neon Dion? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. He yeah, was nobody the, ever talks about Dion. that. He was black. <laughs> <laughs> you never t- you never hear about him being a two sport athlete, but he was a good baseball player. Bill Jackson was the kind of guy though where it seemed like he could have played any sport. Tennis. He could have boxed. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Well, Bo Jackson became, he's like a mythical figure. Where are you running up the wall thing? Remember that? Yeah, Yeah, man. Deion Sanders' accomplishments um, are unbelievable. But compared to Bo Jackson, who was like hunting elk with a crossbow, (laughs) um, it's like, it it was, you know, I I guess it was tough to fit into that folklore. But, you know, Deion Sanders was incredible in his own right. I I don't know if. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, – go ahead, Greg. I interrupted you. No, I just wanted to say that, you know, Bo might know this and Bo might know that, but don't, Bo don't know squat because Bo can't rap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, and the thing about Bo Jackson, I guess, you're right. He's mythical because it's like – I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever held on to, uh, like, uh, uh, a legit wooden baseball bat. Like I couldn't yeah. break one of those totally. by All I right. couldn't break one of those by smashing it on a concrete wall, and he would break them on his knees and his head out of yeah. anger. Like yeah, that's he was crazy. doing the bottom part. He was doing the bottom. He wasn't doing the top. <laughs> he was the bottom is weak. <laughs> the ang- it's the Achilles heel of the baseball bat. Two takes in a row. This guy's coming at Bo Jackson. We got an no. anti. We got a. We got an anti get- Jaxer. You got anti vaxxers Greg's an anti jaxer <laughs> Don't get Greg started on Bo Jackson, man. He's got big issues with him. Because I do the same amount of things. I do stand-up. Right. I do improv. I collect action figures. I can make a grilled cheese sandwich. No one's saying Greg could do everything. I do – that's four things. Who does he do? Three? Basketball, football, tennis? Crossbow. And you know how many grilled cheese sandwiches I've seen Greg break over his own head? It's um, <laughs> astronomical. And the cheese burns. There's no molten hot cheese inside a baseball bat. It should burn your eyes out. God, there would be if I was commissioner. Balls you could eat. I've been saying it for years. You want to get the sport back on track. Yeah, man. You got to put cream cheese in those bats. Americans love cheese. Stuff them inside. <laughs> you guys do uh, – this will get right back to Bo Jackson, but you guys do cream cheese on your eggs? <laughs> cream cheese on eggs? Oh, you yeah. You, in, you invented that, Greg, that cream on the cheese bread. egg sandwich. Yeah. You do a Isn't cream it, it, yeah, you do a layer of cream cheese. You put a over easy egg on that. That's a Greg and cheese. I was gonna say that's uh, a trademarked Greg and cheese, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do an English muffin both sides, because this way you get two sandwiches for the price of one bread. It's uh, cream cheese on the English muffin, over easy egg, and in the egg you put a little garlic powder, a little black pepper, a little, mm, and then uh, you know that's it. Anyway, Bo Jackson was a dick. Oh. Hold on. Let me ask you this, you, you anti-jaxer. What are you doing cheese-wise? What are you Twos? doing cheese-wise? Cheese-wise. This whole you story doing... was about with cheese. No, you I'm didn't explain you. how you're doing the cheese on the sandwich. Everyone raise their hand if you know what cheese I use. Well, I didn't know if you were doing cream cheese. Cream, cream cheese. I thought cream cheese. Cream, I didn't know yeah, if you were doing cheese. an additional cheese is what I meant. Cream oh. cheese. A lot of people wouldn't refer to cream cheese as a traditional cheese. I consider that more of a spread. It's I closer do. to butter than it is cheese. No, it's cheese, man. It's like melted cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I like a cheddar cheese, too. But the cream cheese is the trick with cream cheese. Because the whole thing about the sandwich is just about eating it fast. You don't got to melt cream cheese. It's like pre-melted cheese. So you just spread that on there and you eat it fast. Mm-hmm. Well, I made I made bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for dinner last night, actually. You know what I do? Here's my trick. Uh, uh, is when I flip the egg, uh, I then immediately put the cheese on that egg so that the cheese is melted into the egg, right? Yeah. Well, I, see, I season the egg first, and then I put the cheese on the egg as it's cooking to melt the cheese into the egg so you've got a nice – melt going and then i put the bacon on top of that i don't do the cream cheese i'm sorry uh but i what? do have i it's do have an Brent idea cheese and you guys don't eat the shells nope guess not <laughs> thought I, I thought i did a podcast <laughs> no. with real men i guess i don't <laughs> World record for pause. On the <laughs> Duke we got a pause for a New York man. Remember, pause. Play a man against another man. See who wins. 
E. E. <laughs> oh, what's pause stand for? I forgot. P- pause. Come on, Ruby. You're the king. Is what's what's oh. pause stand for? I thought you uh, don't know off the top of your head. I don't. You have a hat on. I do have a hat on. You look. My good. hair is getting long. I don't see it. No, it's yeah, bad. Let's take a look, Harum. Come on, you're amongst friends. You're let's amongst. Let's look at know. that thing. This is YouTube. I'm on right now. This is scary. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm um, getting close. To, I'm getting so close bad. to my. I'm getting close to my ponytail. You know, let me. I'll show you. I can almost do it up in a in a in a man bun. If I do this, I can get Don't a small. It. I can get a small man bun going here. You look like so a see. server at a trendy restaurant. He does. Don't do uh, it. Yeah. If the minute you put a man bun in, you will never take it out, and you'll be a different person. Go right to full ponytail. Well, look at this. Yeah. How about this for a person? Yeah, you look like the guy from Everclear. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, you do. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Don't go down to my wife's house because she gets beat up. <laughs> what is when that? We, I'll be we, happy one day. What? When we film the podcast. Father of mine. Is that, is that Everclear? Yeah. I think you, so. Harumi, what'd you say? Oh, Brendan, when we're filming the podcast, you got to put a fan right in front of the, your phone so it's just yeah. blowing the whole time. Oh, so that's you, a rock and roll. Idea. So those of you that are, aren't uh, doing the audio, I've, I've taken my hat off. I've got my, my uh, highlighted blonde hair kind of pulled, up, pulled down surfer style. Uh, it looks pretty radical, I'd say. What do you guys think? I think it yeah. looks rec- radical. I look at it radical as hell. Peter says hello. Peter messaged me. as we, I shouldn't have picked it up. So I say hello to Peter. Let's do a shout out to Peter. 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 Yeah. Oh boy. I didn't hear a Peter out of you, Harumi. Okay, start yeah, it again, Greg. Yeah, boy. Peter. 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 Yeah, I didn't right. do it. You guys, Let's move you guys on. Want... Let's go back to what Brendan looks like. What'd you say, Anthony? You guys want me to get into this stuff? Yeah, get into it. Okay. Oh, I should. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's uh, Greg, you want to introduce this? Yeah, Anthony's got some shit. Go. Okay, I'll do a better job of it. Uh, we've got a we got a backlog of Anthony's corners. I don't know if you guys have realized this. Jinx on the uh, coffee, Anthony. But, but but we mm. haven't been we haven't been getting Anthony's corners because we've been getting so wrapped up in our own great banter. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There's no Anthony's corner today. There's Anthony's goddamn room. David has uh, got four corners. He's in the whole room. I might have even more. I'll be honest with you. Uh, welcome to Anthony's room, guys. Thank you so much for coming. We got a hot one for you guys today. We got a lot of hot ones, to be honest with you. Okay, first question. Just posing this to the group. Um, you know, if you guys think of, like if someone like Woody Allen is hoping he gets COVID-19 so he'll die a hero? Why would he be a hero? Because then the charges uh, won't come out against him and he won't go to prison. Oh, and you're saying anyone who dies of COVID is also going to be looked upon as like, yes. oh, my God, it's, it's a, this is a tragedy. Yes, yeah, Because you, you can't come out and be like, COVID kills him. You can't be like, yeah, well, fuck him. He deserved it. You'd be like, hey, this is an epidemic we're all worried about. Right. Yeah. So you think he's out there licking foam poles and shit, I think, not wearing gloves. I, I think he is. It's very possible. <laughs> yeah, man. I think he's. I think uh, Woody Allen right now is in the Wuhan district. Yeah, eating as many bats as he could get his uh, <laughs> filthy little hands on. He's kissing uh, Chinese women, and people are like, man, this guy's got a fetish. Like, nah, man, he's trying to get COVID. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maybe there's a reason he's been with Sun Yi the whole time, and it wasn't about incest. No, <laughs> young. The young can. Har- everyone knows the young harvest COVID. Yeah, Much. yeah. <laughs> She's had it in her bones for years. Brendan, what do you think? Well, I think, you know, this goes back to, uh, it's kind of a tale as old of t- as time, you know? Yeah, you put your hat on, I can't look at you. Uh, ama- <laughs> <laughs> We've all heard the stories, you know, a man marries his own adopted daughter and allegedly molests his biological daughter but then dies of a global pandemic and, <laughs> and, 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 and therefore finds redemption you know it's the story told time and time again so i think you're absolutely right oh cool man I, you, you also think too that this would be the first time he's ever had uh had a 19 something 19 inside him usually he aims a lot younger <laughs> you, was this all of was this all for that 
<laughs> no, I just thought of that I, joke because that's a good one. That. I thought of that right now. I think you took us on a ride all around town, but you knew where we were going. No, no, I really, I really didn't. Um, uh, you're I, a master. So happy to get to that destination. Okay, this is Wait, another... before before we get. Yeah, go ahead. Man. I still have some topics. Uh, you okay. think they'd ever make an Armageddon movie where they're like, "There's an asteroid coming to Earth. Who are we gonna send to do it?" And just like a team of pedophiles go, "We'll <laughs> we'll take out this asteroid." You know what I mean? Like we need the. And they're just like, "Oh, they they did some horrible stuff, but they saved the world." It's like a suicide that's really squad. Funny. Yeah, it's just that's the redemption team we need. It's just a that's bunch of really- creepy, sweaty guys on a spaceship. Well, why teach the pedophiles how to take out the asteroid instead of just getting astronauts to learn how to be pedophiles? Well, well maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the third act right there. Because pedophiles are the only ones who know how to get inside there. Well, so the, craziest, the craziest part <laughs> is, like, what you've just suggested isn't that much different than what actually happened in the movie Armageddon. Like, yeah. they weren't quite pedophiles, but it was like, ah, we better send this ragtag group of oil rig workers to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no yeah, reason re- for it. It really, like, they might as well have gotten the Fast and Furious crew. I mean, yeah. Bruce Willis yeah. knew nothing, man. Yeah. And to one little caveat, I was watching Fast and Furious yesterday, the first one or the second one, and there are people in that crew that they forgot about, one. And two, they're like, do you know where this is going? Like, they're just trying to rob a Walmart truck in the first one. In the sure. fifth one, it's like they might as well be going to space. <laughs> yeah. Toretto yeah. learns how to drive a car off a hill and do a Tarzan swing. He, could, yeah. he couldn't even fight the, the shotgun wielder in the Walmart truck in the first yeah. one. The literally the first thing they're doing, I think, in the first Fast and the Furious, is they're ripping DVDs yeah. off of a truck. <laughs> and the end of the movie, they're going after an international war criminal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It, and, and there's no training from then to then. They never once. They're just. They never mention like, oh, they're never like. Man, what a crazy summer where we learned all that jujitsu and uh, all those espionage <laughs> tactics. It's yeah. not even mentioned. The streets will teach you anything if you listen. <laughs> Hang on, Are guys, you willing to listen? I'm moving locations. Why? Because of the beeping? What's up? Because of that What's beeping? That? No, that's me. That's some uh, truck backing up outside. Oh. Why are you moving locations? Uh, Julia came home, and she's going to take over the den, and I'm going to take over the kitchen. The audio in the kitchen is always different. I could tell where you are. Not good or bad. I could just tell because it's just an different. Echoey. Gotcha. Echo, uh, anyway, Anthony, what's the second part? Of, yeah, get in the closet. Well, what I've been doing is I've been opening the doors as well because I, I think it provides a more interesting look rather than those stark white walls. It I love does. It. it. It does. Yeah, it right? actually does. Yeah. That's your kitchen closet? Um, yeah, that's the um, kitchen closet. I can walk you through each coat one by one if you'd like, but we can do that for the bonus episodes if you want. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, people are going to pay <laughs> extra money for that. I've never met a man in my life who stores suits in their kitchen. <laughs> yeah, kinda, well, so when I like to cook, I like to feel fancy. Um, so I like to feel like I'm on the Titanic cooking for the, you know, the, 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 the people that bought tickets. Hadi, um, where's the paprika? It's next to my warm-up shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Great. What's up? What? I got to tell you something. I, honest to God, was going to do that joke. I was going to use uh, uh, some brand of suit, but I swear to God, I was going to say pep- paprika as well. Paprika is a great comedy word, and we're on the great. same comedy level. Lateral yeah. thinking. Lateral thinking. Okay, Anthony, what's take us through the room, my friend. Give us uh, a tour. Not oh, no, no, that's for the room. extra. That's for the extra. Oh, Give it, oh yeah, it's the corner room. Yes, <laughs> I, got, I got Man, so excited. Right. I guess this is great. Um, let's. Uh, what, uh, okay, I wore this suit to Tito's wedding, and um, uh, okay, the second. Yeah, I think. Do you think now a lot of we've seen like a lot of corporations release statements about how what's going on with them because of the pandemic? Do you guys think ISIS has done the same thing to did their ISIS followers? Put, did ISIS put out a uh, yeah. COVID statement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what they might have? They were telling their followers to not go to America. Really? Oh, yeah. really? They were telling like it was like a travel advisory. Like, let's let's wow. stay out for a little while. Is this how we beat ISIS? Maybe it's a long game, but maybe. Did you That's... hear about the bleach people? 
Yeah. That, tell, that's me, a, tell me the story. You're talking about the Iranians, right? Yeah, what they do? Because I only got half of it because I wasn't really listening. So this is, this is months ago. So the, the Iranians, they got wind, you know, that um, you know, obviously alcohol kills germs, but they thought that it could kill the disease from the inside. Mm. Um, and since they're not a drinking culture, they don't know anything about alcohol. They were just drinking, rubbing alcohol <laughs> and just dying in great yeah. Poor fellas. Yeah. They don't got Google? They got Iranian Google. It's very different. Oh, that's trouble. It's everything goes back to the yeah the prophet Muhammad did it you know <laughs> yeah so, number one result no real stuff no <laughs> you know. um, you've yeah. been pretty quiet what are you thinking about well I'm thinking about that yes that is in, I I do think ISIS probably put something out to their people which is crazy to think about that they've right. got to like now be de- dealing with like bureaucratic like <laughs> issues instead of like God we were trying to plan this fucking attack on the u.s embassy in siam and now we gotta now we gotta deal with peter's sick you know who do you you have a meeting with let's get we gotta get the chain of uh of the 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 vortex of spread on that (laughs) yeah yeah i wonder too if they were like hey can we claim this is anyone can we do that (laughs) yeah do you think that isis I definitely, ISIS at one point said, you know what spreads worse than a virus? An idea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody definitely said that. Yeah, well, one of the more melodramatic ISIS members. <laughs> the, the poet of the group. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, that's Ricky. He makes the flags. He's an artist of mine. Um, yeah. Well, it, it, is, it, is, it is interesting to think about, like, um, there are, I think generally the world is trying to like step up and do what's right for everyone. But then there are people who are just like, now's the time to strike. Like, did you see yeah. somebody stole a Van Gogh? Yeah. No. Uh, really? Yeah. I, I'm okay with this. So far, yes. okay with, I'm not happy I with am- the people who are trying to take advantage of old people, but if you steal a Van Gogh, I'm in. Me too. I think there's people that are like, <laughs> hold on. Hold on a second. The streets are shut down. The police are overwhelmed. The museum's closed. Let's go, boys. <laughs> yeah, they stole, they stole a fucking uh, Van Gogh in Denmark. I think here's, we're going to start seeing a lot of that. Few thing, here's why I'm okay with stealing art. One, we have pictures of it. You can Google it. It's fine. That's, no one's losing anything. Two, I love an art thief. I love <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, an so art fun. thief. Yeah, yep. Oh, how are sure. you selling it? You're the guy who yep. buys art. Who's like, yes. hey, come here. I bought this is a st- actual fucking. This is the actual uh, <laughs> dr- the dreamer or whatever the fuck those paintings are called. Starry night. Yeah, yeah, in your room. That's, that's the real what, one. That's what's so great about a high level art heist. Just it being stolen alone. That just that in itself, like you just said, tells such a great story because mm-hmm. then you're you you are you then have to think about okay, there's some super rich scoundrel out there <laughs> who has bought who then buys that painting but has to keep it a secret for yeah. life, you know, yeah. that just has got a room full of masterworks, yeah, that shows an mm. exclusive members of like-minded scoundrels can come look at it. And, and but he no, can't tell anyone. He can't tell anyone. No higher level of selfishness because he can't yeah. sell it. He can't do anything. He can just look at it on his own and not tell anyone. He just yeah. goes in his room and he goes, the fucking Mona Lisa. My yeah. eyes only get to see this. Yeah, yeah. It's well, very what a- much... Yes, it's very much like a man who uh, meets a beautiful woman and then locks her away yeah. just for him to have. You know? A real Alexander Castro move. <laughs> Ariel, Ariel Castro. Oh, Ariel, that's close. You were very close, man. Thanks. Um, hey, could Cleveland have a brother zone. that's doing the Shout same out. thing, bro. Cleveland yeah. Zone. Witness. Um, yeah, yeah. There's something, and there's also there's like a sophistication to an art thief. It's like a. Yeah, there's something cool about it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're in a suit when they do it. Yes. Well, they yeah. have to step they're, over lasers or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, they also I love have it. to... Go ahead. 
Oh, this is just the thing that always is crazy is you always get the highest level thieves, but also the guys who are guarding museums are $7 <laughs> an hour. It's like, who are they trying to beat? This is, oh, you get to get to Larry? That guy didn't even go to finish high school. He's yeah. making nine bucks an hour. He's asleep and you're showing up with plungers climbing a wall. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't know, man. You probably could have gave him $1,000 and just yeah. walked in. He's, he's like talking to the other like schmuck security guard. He's like, yeah, I think someone was robbing the Van Gogh. <laughs> he's trying to get the Cubs game on his little radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, I, I ain't they supposed to be a monet over here? <laughs> oh, this looks like to, a whole uh, layer of dust. Sorry, B man. I went to the uh, I went to the uh, Rockefeller estate, and uh -huh. uh, it's like uh, it's near Terrytown, Sleepy Hollow. Um, it's pre a pretty cool place to visit. Uh, but um, they donated the estate, the actual main house. There's still actual Rockefeller um, descendants that live on the um, on the property and other various houses. But they donated the main house. Um, I think. Uh, whoever was the governor, it was in the seventies. I think it was Norman Rockefeller. I think was the guy's name, but Sounds good, they, bro. they donated it, uh, to the state of New York and in the basement. So it's a very, it's a pretty old and dated house. It's an amazing house. Like for its time when, when, when John Rockefeller built it, it's, it's a mansion, but, uh, in the basement, there's this addition that, uh, one of the, like, I think Norman Rockwell or one of his brothers was really into, uh, modern art at the time in like the 50s and 60s and there's just millions of dollars worth of art in this get basement gallery they've made and the fucking place is run by the park service that's who's that's who's guarding it the new york state park leslie no <laughs> leslie no yeah. yeah it's literally I I cannot, hey man, I cannot, this is great art. Yeah, I cannot believe it's not robbed every single night. It's just the fucking park service. There's one <laughs> ranger there guarding millions of dollars of art. If you're listening to this and you're an art heist guy, that's got to be your yeah. move. The rock color estate. He doesn't have a gun. He's got a branch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got a pamphlet. He can tell you which bird is outside. <laughs> Tina also, knows. Tina yeah, knows. Ahead, this, oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, you're good. Tita knows this guy who, like, he, he was renting a parking spot in Astoria, and uh, it was a parking spot and a garage, but the garage was closed, and the guy was like, hey, like, can I also rent a garage? It doesn't seem like you're using it. Can I rent a garage? And the guy was like, I don't know. And he was like, come on. He was like, you know what? You can rent a garage. Do whatever you want. Opens a garage, full leather sex F dungeon. <laughs> Like, wow. and I don't think the guy realized, I think he was like, Oh shit, my sex dungeon. And, uh, so then they were like, they, the guy just rented it and never really brought it up. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like, Oh yeah. I parked my car in here, but also there's a, there's an upside down cross with leather straps. <laughs> what? There's a, there's what, a sweaty what? businessman in the corner with a giant <laughs> erection. Yeah. What uh, a life, what a life to live. <laughs> to to have a sex dungeon that you forgot about. <laughs> yeah. That's my other I mean, one. <laughs> it's one thing. Backup. It's what, like for most people, that's your main thing. If you have a sex dungeon, yeah. that's your main thing. This well, guy's on so many levels that he just forgot that yeah. was in his garage. Well, Nick Fury had uh, Nick Fury did the same thing. He had so many safe houses all across America that he forgot about a bunch. This is... <laughs> From what I understand, this guy is like a, he was like a 70 or 80 year old guy and all the stuff was like from the sex 70s. So it was like mm -hmm. this 70s sex dungeon that he just forgot to renovate <laughs> or like <laughs> leave or something. It was just locked up for 20 years. Dude, and the guy's just like, I don't know, I can get killer. my Honda in here. What? This might be a serial killer. Yeah, it could be a lot of things. Was there any incriminating <laughs> photos or anything like that? No, I think, uh, I mean, I didn't talk to them. This is all secondhand. But I think it was all just like really weird sex stuff, uh, you know, like dildo for instead of a ceiling fan, it was a, a rotating dildo thing. That you had to cut <laughs> up and grab one and stuck it, you know. That, that's how when um, when my image died, I, I've told you guys that story. That's kind of how it was. Tell I, me. I, my, she, I, I don't know. This is secondhand. This is from my mom and aunt. So you'd have to talk to them to really get this full story. But uh, they were like. They're, I just heard them in laughing in the living room 
after she had died and they had just cleaned out her estate. And um, my mom and aunt are laughing. And I was like, what are you guys laughing about? And my aunt was like, should we tell them? And my mom was like, yeah, it's fine. And my aunt goes, she had so many dildos throughout that house. <laughs> it was, she was, she, my aunt likened it to an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> where they were wow. just everywhere. But my aunt Midge was incredibly rich. So what I think is that the incredibly rich, it's a life of convenience. So you have like a dildo for each, you know what I mean? Like, like a cell phone charger in every room. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like to think like the Punisher. We're like, you know, like you, you can trap him in the kitchen. He hits a lever and a drawer opens. I got a dildo here. You got a, yeah. you got a dildo everywhere. Yeah. yeah she it, could... <laughs> Go ahead, brother. It's, it's totally, that, I mean, that's totally not with dildos, but that's totally, I bet what happened to her was exactly my this sounds exactly like my dad's frame of mind like my dad one day couldn't find a phone charger got furious came went out came home with 15 phone chargers <laughs> and just plug them into every outlet in the house and now you can just plug your you can charge your phone anyway and i think your aunt midge was really yeah. horny couldn't yeah. find her vibrator and was like never again yeah. Never again. <laughs> She's like uh, the DDP of dildos. You know, yeah. she could do it from any angle. Yeah. You never know. That's a Diamond Dallas Page reference. Yeah, that man. I don't think anyone, only Anthony, might understand. I got um, it. Now, oh, can I say something about something else? Or are we are we done on that? Yeah. I guess I want to tell you about how I masturbated last night. Is it okay, weird? Okay. Yes. Good. 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 <laughs> good. 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 Oh, I was so fucking high last night. And uh, it was early. You know when you're like, when you're like, oh, you're ready. You know, while Tita goes to bed, she goes to bed at like eight or something. Yeah. So it was like 10 o'clock and I'm like alone and I'm like, hi, out of my head. I'm like, oh, I'm a masturbate. I used the, you know, I used a flashlight. You know, I got the flashlight. Wow. In house. Yeah. What do you think? What do you mean? Wow. What do you mean? When are you doing out of house? What are you talking yeah, about? In house with Tita though, right? That's what I mean. You're oh, doing in house? She's in bed. I'm in a, I got a, I'm in a whole other room. She'd have to kick the door in. You know. <laughs> You know what yeah. I mean? I put my backpack yeah, in front of a the lot door. Of, a lot of tripwire. Yeah, yeah. I got my own traps. It's set <laughs> like up like a, like a music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's got to go yeah. over the lasers. To find her backing up. What's yeah. a barking Rottweiler <laughs> doing in front of Greg's office? Yeah, you've got to pretty much steam the room up to see, to see <laughs> where my traps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I, to, I don't know if I told you this. I, I traded a, the, I traded a Disney Plus for a Reality Kings password because that's the currency <laughs> we're using now in that's Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you trade it with? A child? Child. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, the Disney. Like... That's funny. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we both needed things to masturbate to. I, I traded into a real creep. Uh, but man, I because you have all this time now, I watched the whole porno. It was like, because like, I'm used to doing five minute uh, clips because all we do is the free stuff is five minute clips. Sure. These are all, full, this is full movies. And I'm like, I'm going to watch, I'm going to take in the artist's uh you know what they what they wanted me to see their vision you know, i'm gonna play yes yeah i'm like a beatles album i'm gonna play the whole album i'm gonna see where they want me to go and it was the best uh thing i ever did in my wow. life because you really got to hold out you're not doing work you're not right. shoving the whole hamburger in your mouth you know you're taking bite it, it, as you, no one eats a hamburger sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's mind it's pornographic <laughs> mindfulness is what i'm trying to preach it's wow. you know I think yeah. we just got our episode title. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, and this is, and this is, I, I, I will say, you're no, you're no bandwagon fan. This is, you, you've preached this for a long time. Uh, I, uh, uh, Itu Mamba Tambien. Uh, you, that, that, you felt all the True. emotions during that. You watched the whole thing, but you were also able to come. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the best I'm sorry. Life. I'm sorry, Brendan. Are you comparing Itu Mambien to pirates? What's Pirates? Oh, Pirates is this like very famous uh, porn. Oh, movie. Pirates. That was a great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't catch that reference and I should have. Yeah. That was like the first I... big budget porno. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. I'd love to see Pirates. Keep going no, down I... the track you were going down though, Brendan. I was just well, making no, a joke. Well, no, all I was saying is, no, I agree. But Greg has before said on this very podcast, he loves, uh, a f he doesn't totally. like, he feels cheapened by the clips. He likes the whole story. Give him the range yes. of emotion. So I'm, what I'm, I'm supporting what he's saying. I'm saying, don't nobody try and come and say, well, you're just now discovering it. He's been on this since day one. Now he just has the password to allow it. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. I just want higher quality porn and I want 
better movie porn, you know? Like, this is what the porn museum comes into play. It'd be funny, <laughs> it'd be funny if there was, like, an after right. credit sequence where you got to yeah. sit through the entire credits. Oh, that's great, <laughs> You see man. the cum shot? Yeah, right, and they show you the next one. <laughs> that's so fun. Why don't they do that in porno? That's hilarious. Where you just you have to wait till after the credits for a bonus scene we that sets up the next movie. <laughs> we don't know that they're not doing that. True, None of us are watching true. porno on that level. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, except so... the Native Americans. They eat the whole beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so far in the opposite direction from what you're doing, porn wise, Greg. Like for me, uh, any hint of a level of quality and i'm turning it off like Ooh. any hint that this is shot on a professional grade camera and i want nothing to do with it i need the grimy this is this is this is sent in by an angry ex-boyfriend that's what i do. <laughs> that's i look for just a, a vhs tape from 92 that they converted to get it on the x hamster <laughs> and that's what i'm going downtown with. Uh, i don't like i don't like any high quality i like to i like to see some homemade shit i like to see some cellulite Give me something wrong with everybody involved. Mm. Just it's a, funny when there's like a TV playing in the background. Yes. And you hear Sports Center. You hear Sports Center starting in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can carbon date them. You're like, oh, this is when the Knicks were in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Did I hear? Did I hear Anthony Hardaway? <laughs> uh, yeah. I like it. I like a dog barking. I like him maybe coming in, and they're like, get out of here. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I liked for a moment, but I don't like anymore is because I seem to be finding the hottest chicks on these like no face porns where they don't show their face. Uh, they have the hottest bodies, but they never show their face. It's like, yeah, but then it's just sex. I need a storyline. I need a reason for them to be there. And I need to see their faces of them going like, I didn't know that your dick was as big. Now I like you. <laughs> but you're my real estate agent. Yeah. You've yeah. mentioned this before. You like the real estate ones. Yeah, I love those. You're such a rich person. Location, location, location. Let's see if you buying a house. <laughs> this is so real. <laughs> no yeah, kids. I'm like, I would. They would look at me immediately and go, "You can't afford this house." Credits I'm horrible. Like, yeah, <laughs> immediately would not like me. Sir, sir, you are wearing jean shorts, and this is a mansion. Uh, <laughs> a, yeah. I don't think this is going to work out. Uh, That's those really women. Funny. Whoever the top women are of those rea real estate agent points should become actual real estate agents because I think that would work to their advantage. You know, it would help business on name both brand ends. recognition on both exactly uh, a symbiotic relationship, if you will, yeah. like that, like the bird that lives in the crocodile's mouth. <laughs> I, I I agree with you. I just think that you know Century Twenty One or whoever would be like. Hey Tracy, just a word. Um, did you try to fuck the newlyweds that wanted to buy the house on? Um, yes, no, no, no. Now Always fuck be you. closing. Here's the thing: I'm not saying they gotta fuck them in their actual real estate business, but I just think it's like people are gonna be drawn to like, hey, here's my business card. You can check out these sex videos I do. Uh, okay. Uh, but I also sell houses, and they're gotcha. gonna, and and so they don't. They're not actually every interaction is not gonna turn into a porn. Gotcha. But you're getting that thrill of, man, she's really also a real estate agent. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. I get it. All right, guys, you know, we are I, uh, oh. uh, I Real quick, one time, a long time ago on this podcast, we talked about, um, and I don't know if I ever mentioned this, this message on the podcast, we talked about the woman – who had sex with the most men in one day. Do you remember yes. that? Yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was something like 900 and something. I got a message from a listener that was like, that lady lives in my town. She's the nicest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's she's great. extremely nice. Is it Savannah? <laughs> is it Savannah? I don't, I, I don't think it was Savannah. I think Savannah used to have the record. I can't remember what, who it was. But anyway, yeah, some user, she just lives in some town and everyone knows that's her claim to fame, but she's just really nice and everyone likes her. Which I is wonder, a nice thing I wonder to if hear. they put that on the billboard for the town. You know how they do with like an Olympic athlete? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do that as well. I, yeah. I want to get back to something real quick before we uh, – this idea that you could just add agent to something. You know, these people are just selling houses. 
you're a salesman. They're like, <laughs> I'm more of an agent. I was like, I don't know. The guy who sold my car stereo wasn't a car stereo agent. You know, to be an agent, you got to be a cop. You got to have like formal training. Agent, you're an agent. I'm a, I'm a, I sell houses. You're a salesman. Well, well, I, oh, I mean, do, 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 do you want the serious answer here? You sure, but I'm going to give you a serious retort. Okay. Uh, agent, <laughs> agent implies agency or, or, or representing something yeah. or someone. So a, a real estate agent is called that because they're either representing the buyer or they're representing the seller. So they are the agent for that person in that transaction. In other words, uh, so you could be a car stereo agent if you're representing car stereos, you know? You yeah, could, they represent Sears. Yeah. So Applebee's. If you're a waiter, I'm an I'm a, I'm a agent. I'm a food agent. Yeah, I I'm, a ap Applebee's. I'm an appetizer's agent. Yeah, I wear that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right. Great. Anyone want to plug anything? I got poop. Patreon.com. That's the Stop. <laughs>